Hello, this is question 31 of our series, and it says the Senate president during the Second Republic was. And we have option A, Dr. Joseph Wyers, option B, Senator Ayim Pius Ayim, option C, Senator Iyotia Ayu, and option D, Chief Adopos Wabara. Well, Joseph Wyers served as Nigeria's third Senate president during the Nigerian Second Republic from 1979 to 1983. So, the answer to this question is option A. This is question 32 of our series and the question says, NMD Azikwe International Airport is found in? We have option A, Enugu, option B, Portacot, option C, Abuja, and option D, Calabar. Onamdi Azikwe International Airport is an international airport serving Abuja in the Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria. It is the main airport serving the Nigerian capital city and was named after Nigeria's first president, Onamdi Azikwe. So the answer to this question is option C, which is Abuja. Hello guys, this is question 33 in our series and it says a large area of water surrounded by land is called We have option A which is a land, option B an island, option C an iceberg and option D a dick A land um, doesn't contain water, land is without water and an island on the other hand is a piece of land that is surrounded by water an iceberg or ice mountain is a large piece of freshwater ice that is floating freely in water or in open water while a lake is an area filled with water localized in a basin that is surrounded by land apart from any river or other outlet that serves to feed or drain the lake so in other words a lake is a large area of water surrounded by land so our answer for this question is option d hello guys this is question 34 in our most failed unilorin positive questions for the raw paper series and it says on a road map a line segment of four inches long represents a distance of 12 miles how many miles long is 4.5 inches so let's see how we can do this so from our question they said four inches is equal to um, 12 miles or represents a distance of 12 miles so let's take that right here four inches is equal to 12 miles and uh, we, we are to find how many miles long 4.5 inches is so we say 4.5 inches is equal to x so we can um, solve this question by just cross multiplying if we do this yeah so 12 goes to the left while 4 goes to the right so we can say 4.5 times 12 equal to 4x so if we take 4 to the left let's say 4.5 times 12 divided by 4 is equal to x and then we can now divide 4 to 3 and then we can now multiply 4.5 times 3 and that will give us x equal to 13.5 miles so 4.5 times 3 is equal to 13.5 miles so this is our answer let's see okay so the answer to this question is option b which is 13.5 hello guys this is question 35 in our series and it says choose the odd one out among the followings and we have option a which is peru option b is venezuela option c is bolivia and option d is indonesia uh, well you should know that peru venezuela and bolivia are all countries in south america except for indonesia which is a country in asia so the answer to this question is option d which is indonesia hello guys this is question 36 in our series and it says 
Which one of the following key techniques is necessary for all the others to be effective? So we have option A, communication, option B, teamwork, option C, leadership, and option D, technical know-how. Well, to be able to answer this question, you need to know what all these options mean. And communication is the impact, you know, exchanging of information by speaking, writing, or using some other medium. Teamwork is the collaborative effort of a team to achieve a common goal. So, um, leadership is both a research area and a practical skill encompassing the ability of an individual or organization to lead or guide other individuals, teams, or entire organization. Um, technical know-how, on the other hand, is a term used for practical knowledge on how to accomplish something. So, from the definitions we have just heard, you see that without communication, teamwork would not be possible. Leadership also, and um, technical know-how would not be possible because to be able to associate or work in a team, you have to know how to communicate um, with your teammates. To be a leader, you have to be able to communicate with your subordinates. And this is also the case in technical know-how. So the answer to this question is option A, which is communication. Hello, this is question 37 in our series. And it says a laborer is paid 5,400 Naira zero kobo per month. What is his total salary in seven over four years? Well, let's see how we can solve this. Okay, we know that he is paid five thousand four hundred naira per month. And what we need to find is his salary per month. So just um to get that, say um one month salary will be five thousand four hundred times 12 months which will give us 64,800 naira and to get his um, salary for 7 over 4 months you need to multiply 64,800 by 7 over 4 well we got to that point we you can do something like this say okay so 64,800 is to one year and know that we are now looking for um, 7 over 4 years will now be equal to x so if you cross multiply as usual you get x equal to 7 all over 4 times 64,800 and so you can now multiply and this will give us 16,200 naira so uh, the worker earns 16,200 naira per month um it doesn't end here sorry 16,200 naira is 4 divided by um 64,800 we still need to multiply this by 7 so if we do that we get 113,400 naira and this is our answer right here so the answer to this question is option a hello guys this is question 38 in our series and it says how many numbers between 1 and 60 begins or end with 5 when solving this question you might be tempted to start counting the numbers from 5 but you have to take note of the question it says how many numbers between 1 and 60 begins or end with 5 that means the index of the numbers have to be more than 1 so if we had let's say 1 up to 155 then 155 will be 3 numbers and then let's say 15 is 2 numbers but we can't count 5 here because 5 is just one number and this question does not apply on 5 because it says begins or end with 5. So let's um, count and see. So we we'll start from 15. We have 15. The next number is 25. Then we have 35. Then we have 45. Then 50. Then 55. And this we have um, 1, 2, 3, 
0.56 so the answer to this question is c which is 6 hello guys this is question 39 in our series and it says in which country is mississippi river and the mississippi river is the chief river of the second largest drainage system on the north american continent second only to the hudson bay drainage system and it is entirely in the usa so the mississippi river is in the united states of america and that is option a so this is the correct answer for this question what's up guys this is question 40 in our series and it says convert 0.005 kilograms to grams what you should know that one kilogram is equal to 1000 gram also i just did that right here one kg is equal to 1000 and then we are to find 0.005 kilograms so we can say then 0.005 kg will be equal to x because we don't know that yet we can also cross multiply and say okay 0.005 times 1000 would equal to x and then this will give us 5 equal to x and uh, you can write it this way for convenience 5 equals to x so 0 0.005 kilograms is equal to 5 grams and so the answer to this question is option d